Okay, so are you fed up with your chain oiler ending up like this all the time? I think that didn't even last one journey after it was in position. So I've had another brainwave. I'm going to try something different now. I'm going to remove that nozzle bit. Maybe even back to here actually. To this point where it joins. So what I'm thinking is I've got some of this. 4 mil copper tube. What I've done, I've run a bit of insulation tape on it. Just so it's black, so it blends in with the bike. I'm going to cut it to length, shape it, and then aim it at the sprocket. Like so, and we'll see how we'll get on with that. So this is the finished results. I've put tape around that little bit of copper tube, like I said I did. I bent it to shape, a prox. So... That's it finished. There it goes there onto the rear sprocket. So I suppose the key here is lots of cable ties. Being rigid, it hasn't moved, and I've used this other bracket that I've got with the other chain oiler to support. So that's clamped in there. I've cut it a little bit there so it holds it nice and tight in place. So I've done about 200 miles now, and it's exactly where I've left it, which is really good. So it seems to be doing its job. If anything, I probably need to wind the oil in a bit because it's actually gone down quite considerably. I had it wound out at two, and I've turned it down to one and a half. So I might turn it down another half a turn as well. And that's it. It's a cheap, easy upgrade for your chain oiler spout onto the sprocket. Don't spend twenty pounds on a replacement um, piece of plastic. I think this cost me less than two pounds off eBay. Four mil copper tube. Thanks for watching.